guys were looking at this, again, well, we want to create a proof. Um, we have proof at triangle DBC. So we look at D to B to C is an acute triangle. Um, given that measure angle a, um, ADC is 120, and triangle ABC is acute. So if we know triangle ABC is acute, what do we know about angle ABC? Is that going to be acute? Yes, OK. So anyways, when starting a proof, we're only going to be working with two column proofs in this class. So we have a statement, and then we have a reason. Statement, reason, reason, statement, statement, reason, reason, statement. OK? Now, the first thing and the easiest is to always take down our givens, right? Take what we are given. So we are given um, measure of angle ADC is equal to 120. Why do we know that? Because it's given. All right? And what else do we know? Triangle. ABC is acute. That's given. All right? Guys, I really had to do no absolute thinking at all to write statement, reason, and then write down the information that was already previously given to me. All right? I'm just writing it down. Um, that's what we're trying to prove. OK? So we know that ABC is acute. Now, a couple other things we want to look into. If this is acute, Carly, flip it over. If this is 120, I know that angle D BDC is also going to be supplementary, correct? So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I can go and solve this. And I can say 120 degrees plus the measure of angle BDC is equal to 180 degrees. You guys see that? This angle and this angle have to add up to 180 degrees. All right, so now let's solve for the measure of BDC. Subtract 120. That equals 60 degrees. So therefore, um, the measure of angle DBC is equal to 60 degrees. So I can write measure of angle DBC is equal to 60 degrees. Why do I know that? Because, yeah, those two angles are supplementary. Because measure of angle ADC and measure of angle BDC are supplementary. Huh? So we know that this is 60 degrees, right? We know that that's 60 degrees. We don't know, um, and we know that DBC is an acute angle, but we don't know what the measurement is of each one of these. But um, so let's see. We have given measure of angle D, e, DBC is 120. Prove that DBC is an acute triangle. Now remember, the difference is in an acute triangle. It, it has to have three um, equal, has to have three acute angles, right? That are not equal to. Oh, I'm sorry. It has to have three acute angles that. Um, I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't have to be two of the same, but they can't all be equal, right? So. Huh? We, we don't know. All we know about B is that it has to be an acute angle, right? But we don't know the measurement of it, all right? But what do we know about the addition of these two angles? What is going to be the measure of ACD a, and measure of angle BDC? Does anybody know the measure of those two? Well, we don't know the measure, I mean, but what are we going to have? What, is that going to be an acute angle or? Yeah, it's going to be a definition of the, of the acute. And then I had my thing. Um, and 
then I have angle C is acute. Um, so now, if I already have this as an acute triangle, so if we're looking at this, we know that the sum of these two add up to, or add up to acute. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we already know that from our given statement that ABC is acute. That means this angle, that means these angles do not equal each other. Right? Do you guys agree with me? Those angles do not equal each other. So therefore, since B is acute, so then this makes this an acute triangle, and we already know that this is 60 degrees, and then therefore, if that's acute, that means these angles also have to be acute as well. So therefore, our angle DBC is an acute triangle. The reason being is, again, going looking at from the definition of acute, definition of acute angle, where they don't all have the exactly the same sides. Because if these two, if it's already acute and this triangle's inside of it, and this angle is um, a part of those two, and these two are not going to be equal, then it's going to be, our reason is going to be the definition of acute angles. Do you need tape for some reason? Okay. I'll, I'll take it. Thank you.